Welcome back to API Automation Framework using REST Assure. So this is the chapter 2. We are going to discuss the, some more advanced topics in the REST Assure, right? Uh, and uh, we'll see what uh, next we are going to cover. So just in case you haven't seen the first uh, chapter once, I will recommend to you go to the chapter 1. This is the link for the chapter 1 where we have discussed these many points. So what is actually so versus rest so what's the history what's the background of the rest assured framework from where it has been originated all the setup your maven setups uh, for rest assured right so uh, this part is really important uh, just to make sure that you are really able to run your code right so let's uh, move to the next topic it's root setting right <clears throat> okay so what is root setting so uh, let's uh, open this link before we move uh, okay so this is the link right so see these are the roots rest response message results name alpha code alpha 2 code alpha 3 these are the roots okay so uh, so uh, when you have a long uh, uh, number of roots like suppose this is a very simple json we have taken but suppose in your in your real case there are 10 nodes like okay this kind of tree structure is complex uh, tree structure is there right so in that case root setting is a very handy th handy thing right so what we are doing here uh, like see this is the normal case right in normal case uh, what you are doing suppose you hit this uh, URL then uh, at the body you are simply verifying that the uh, this is the uh, X path or the path of that name you can say you have to write complete root from the uh, parent uh, uh, root right so you are verifying here that the name is Italy right and the alpha 2 code is IT and third one is the ITA okay this is the basic uh, basic test uh, we are verifying okay so let's see the next uh, how the root setting are important right so in this case uh, you can see what I have done that we have set a default root here so the in the then statement dot root rest response dot result so basically rest response dot result so till this path I have uh, made this as a static okay so in the later in the body part I have to simply check for the name that's it because this path has already has been uh, set in the root right so we don't have to write again and again this particular path like we have done in this case here we have written everything this this one is common so we have extracted this common path and put it here right hope you uh, get it right so now in the body you simply have to check uh, right here name is italy alpha 2 code is ita and alpha 3 code is it okay let's run this right uh, let's uh, comment out this one and uh, let's run the second test case right and see what will happen so it run and the result is pass right fine so uh, hope you got this point right great so let's move to the next okay so uh, here we can detach the root path okay okay uh, what if suppose uh, you have set some root like in the previous case we have done you have set the root and then you verify it few body parts after that you want to modify that root right so here like you can detach this particular part in this case I have removed this result from the root so you, I am detaching root like this so now what is the root after this point so root will contains only the rest response it will not contain the result after this step get executed so in the next statement I have to write again result dot alpha 3 code is ITA right so let's run this one so roots setting is only uh, basically used when you have a very long long deep uh, kind of uh, JSON right if you have a very simple JSON like in this case so no need to set uh, this root setting right so let's go to the next one okay so post so uh, friends i don't have any uh, valid post with me 
okay uh, where i can show you the 200 code okay so i have taken this dummy post from the uh, net okay so what we are doing here that uh, in the post uh, we are setting the headers and the parameters okay so like uh, some dummy key and value you can uh, give uh, like this strings values okay then some parameters okay different different any n number of headers any n number of parameters you can set right so key value pairs you can give here in the given part and when you post this particular uh, thing then the status code is 401 right so like this is a because the keys value are uh, dummy so uh, it won't get processed and you will get a 401 you won't get a 200 in this case right so let's run and let's see what the response so it passed right so the see this is the response right here we can see that http status code is 401 unauthorized as we already know that because we don't have any valid keys and value right okay so hope this is clear right so in, in your case you, uh, you may uh, you must be having the valid uh, post request and you can uh, try you can play uh, uh, like this right fine so let's see this is the important one right test 5 okay please uh, 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 take this seriously this one right <clears throat> okay so let's see what is that the first one okay to get all the response as string wait so what i am doing here so i am hitting this one okay and i get this as string okay so see right? you are hitting this one so this is json right this is a json you can see right so uh, what i want i want to read complete json as a string right so it's, it's very handy in rest assured you simply has to write get uh, this call as string that's it you don't have to do anything else you get a complete string in this one and i just uh, did ss out so okay so why we are doing so suppose uh, uh, you don't want to uh, su suppose you want to apply some regex kind of thing and you want to uh, fetch some parameters from the response in that case this is very useful right you have a string in a uh, video and you can play around with the string right so see so this is the output this is string right this is not json okay this is a string till now so you can apply some regex or anything else and you can fetch any details whatever you want although this is going to be a very difficult regex but yeah in some cases you can try this thing right great <coughs> okay uh, let's see what next we have okay as an input stream fine so so here what we are doing like in the previous case we are uh, fetching the data as a string so in this case we are fetching the uh, uh, result as a input string okay so what i am doing here the stream dot to string dot length okay so see the stream length is 84 okay so here you are fetching the result as an input stream and uh, uh, then you can uh, take the advantage of the stream and whatever you want to do like uh, for the uh, dummy example I just simply checking the length of the stream right so let's see what next we have so you are seeing that it's very simple right and just small small one one keywords you are getting uh, a lot of advantages right so this is awesome means I really love this rest assured framework right and it's very difficult in java if uh, earlier we are doing all this thing using java so i know that how difficult all these part are when we do all this thing in java right so it's a really good thing you should really learn this rest assured <coughs> i will really recommend you to go and at least try once right fine so let's see what we have the same as uh, we have done previously in this case we are reading the response as a byte array right and we are checking the byte array dot length okay 
let's not uh, run because this is the same the next one is a bit uh, more important right so here what we are doing extracting details using path fine so let me see the output of this before we go into the details okay so see this is the json output okay the photo one so album id is one id title etc etc this is the url and this is the thumbnail url okay fine so here what we are doing uh, suppose you want to fetch this particular url from this particular json right <clears throat> and you want to hit this again okay some kind of requirement is that okay so what i am doing here i am just created a string variable and <clears throat> after that i have written when i uh, get this then content type i am just checking that the content type should be json right it should not be xml so this is the first check okay after that i applied another assert kind of thing like the body album id should be equal to 1 so the album id is equal to 1 right then I extract see this is the new keyword we have encountered right so that's why I told you this is an important one right so in this case we are extract extracting from the path the URL right so so any 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 attribute any this uh, root you can give here right so that particular value get stored in this extract so in this case like I am fetching that URL value so that URL value will be stored in this href and I am just printing this href and uh, later on uh, you can again hit this particular URL and then you can check the status code so what I am doing manually see you hit this one okay just see the manual step now I am fetching this particular uh, thing and again hitting this one this is what I am doing okay so this should get 200 right so let's see let's run this one so this is very useful test okay it's going to be used heavily in your framework right so see this particular has been fetched from that json right okay see this is the href right so we have printed the href here right and this has also been passed right so hope you understand this uh, test at your end okay this is uh, really going to be helpful for you people okay so let's see what next we have in the bucket extract detail using the path in one line okay fine so type one so uh, what is that get uh, okay we are getting the we are hitting this particular api dot path thumb thumb url this time we are fetching in the, in the previous case we are fetching the url value this time we are fetching the thumbnail thumbnail url you can fetch anything right and we have printed this one and we have again hit this one okay so instead of writing in multiple lines like this so in this case we are simply hitting uh, writing in one line right so both the test cases are same nothing and uh, no difference in, in that okay this one is a bit different type 2 what we are doing here that we are hitting this particular api and return dot json path get string thumbnail url right so both these are same but see the there are syntax different and return dot json path you can use whatever you are comfortable with right i am just show you that there are two ways you can handle this thing right so let's uh, not run because these are the same test case okay let's go to the uh, last test case okay so uh, what we are doing here mm -hmm. fine this one is also going to be very important test case for you right what we are doing here in this case that we are hitting this particular api and then extract response we are extracting the complete response in response object okay so we will get a response object okay and in response you can then do n number of things like response dot content type you can print and you can assert on the content type you can respond dot path dot url now i am fetching again the url 
like previously we have done we have fetched the url in the response also you can fetch the url you can fetch the status code okay you can see what all uh, things we can do response dot I'm sorry response dot see there are a lot of things are coming right dot body content type cookies detailed cookies get body get class okay so uh, it's up to you uh, i'm not going to uh, test each and everything so it's for you to play with this right for all different different things right so let's run this one this is important test case content type see so the content type is application json character set utf-8 this is the href we have fetched and this is the status code we have fetched right so this is very important so i will recommend you better extract the response and later on you can apply some checks and assert etc etc right so i hope you understand uh, till this part right and uh, you have you should practice all these things before uh, moving to forward right so so we have covered uh, till this part right so i have missed the schema verification uh, i will make sure that the next video will cover this particular part and uh, we'll see the next in the next uh, uh, video we will see how the groovy features uh, can be used in extract response using json part headers and how we can we will play with the headers and cookie etc etc right fine friends so i think uh, that's it for uh, this particular video and uh, hope you enjoy the rest assured framework and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel i will uh, recommend you to subscribe because the next video uh, uh, is coming soon right so thank you friends keep smiling Right? Okay, bye.